All right, guys, today we're gonna go over some under the radar baits that I think could improve your fishing if you're fishing high pressured areas where people are throwing similar stuff, uh, or maybe you just need to throw something a little bit different. This is gonna be some stuff for you to try. How's it going, guys? Travis here from Tackle Bros. Uh, and today I got a few baits that I think could improve your fishing uh, with small changes. Now, these are, these are baits that are you know, already pretty prevalent, but they also serve a little bit of a different purpose. They're a different look. Uh, it's just something that might upgrade or give you an extra bite if everybody's doing the same thing, or, you know, maybe it's something completely different for you, just something new for you to try. These are things that I use on the regular. Uh, I've had great success with them. And yeah, I just thought I'd pass, pass along, pass along, pass along some of the, some of the stuff. All right, so first we're gonna start off with the Nishine Lure Works Chippewa DD Blade. So uh, as you can see, this is a pretty standard looking crankbait, although I think these are some of the most beautiful crankbaits made. Nishine does an amazing job with his color profiles. It's gonna have this Nishine Lure Works original blade. It's not a typical willow blade, it has a bunch of bends and creases and stuff like that that's gonna allow it to have a great tight spiral action. Uh, and it's just connected right there on the front little eyelet that's coming out of the bait. This is gonna be awesome if you're fishing an area where a lot of guys are throwing crankbaits. It's also a silent bait, which is awesome. So no big rattles. Uh, the draw is really gonna be in that blade. It's just, it's just something different that they don't see all the time. Now this blade will clack into the body, which is gonna make some noise. It will, you know, periodically touch the, the hooks and makes a little bit of noise. But for the most part, it's just gonna be an addition of flash that is really gonna draw them in. Especially right now when the grass is kind of dying down, you're able to, you know, throw these a lot more up here. If you're in an area where there's not a lot of grass in your lake, this is obviously gonna be a great one. It can look like an additional bait fish coming through the water or just something else for them to key in on. Uh, I like that it is connected with a little barrel swivel. Obviously it's gonna allow it to spin a lot more free. Again, something new and different that they haven't looked at. This is available in a DD and a standard diving. So with the blade, just something awesome from Nishine Lure Works. Now, if you don't want the blade on there, you can just take it off. If you already have some uh, Chippewas, you can actually buy the blade separately, just put it on a little barrel swivel, add it in there to kind of punch this up. Or if you have another sort of, you know, deep diving or regular crankbait that you just want to add them to, they also sell these blades separately. So this is something that you can kind of play with and they sell it in other colors. It's available in a kind of rose gold color uh, black, this gold color, silver. So lots of different options for you to kind of play around with, dial it in for your fishery. And it's just something they're not gonna see a lot of. There's not, not a lot of crankbaits that do something wildly out of the box, but this one does something extra special in my opinion with that little blade. All right, the next one that I think is maybe a little bit underutilized and it's something that we do a lot here is going to be a Helgramite. Now, I have two different ones because I fish them completely differently. If I'm fishing bottom, I tend to gravitate towards the Nico Helgramite. This is an elastomer Helgramite. So very stretchy, high buoyancy. It's a little bit bigger than the other one I'm gonna show you. Uh, this really excels for me on a Ned rig. Now, it's a pain to rig. It sucks, it's a thin body profile. You gotta try to get it in there. But once you have this rigged up, this looks like so many things besides a Helgramite on the bottom. Those little appendages will be moving around. Uh, they can key in on it very well. Stands up perfectly straight like a regular Ned rig will. They just eat the crap out of this thing. I can't tell you how many big fish a year I personally or people in the shop weigh in on these little Helgramites. Tons of people I know that are very good fishermen throw a lot of Helgramites. Tournaments are one on these things all the time. It's just an overall big fish catcher. So if you're not familiar with a Helgramite, it's basically a little bug bait. These exist where you live, like it or not, they're pretty creepy. It's extra effective, I think, near creek mouths. These come out during storms into creeks. They, they live on creek shores. Uh, and bass eat the crap out of them. So if you haven't tried a Helgramite, this is a good one for bottom. Now, 
something else we do with the Helgramite is we drop shot them all. Now, if I'm drop shotting, I am going to go with the Great Lakes Finesse Juicy Helgramite. This is a new bait that came out this year at iCast. Uh, it's been one of the, I would say this has been a successful bait, but I would say lesser of the other ones. The Juvie Craw kind of took over that whole launch, but don't get it twisted. This is a phenomenal bait. Now, Great Lakes Finesse, matte and neutral buoyancy. That's why this is so effective on a drop shot. When it's out there, it's sitting perfectly flat, whether you rig it this way or you rig it this way. I generally rig it, you know, flat, but if you feel like it, you can rig it this way, no problem. These are very durable. It's not elastomer, but ultra durable. That neutral buoyancy is, is a super big key to this style of bait. They come in a ton of awesome colors, and it's just an overall killer on a drop shot. We have caught multiple fish in that five plus pound range on this guy year round. Helgramites, man. If if you're not throwing a Helgramite, it's it's definitely something that you need to add into your arsenal. It's gonna get you a couple bites. Not a lot of guys are throwing these, so something that the fish probably aren't seeing as often as you know little minnow baits or jigs or tubes or anything like that. Helgramite's definitely definitely a good one. All right, now on to a sneaky, sneaky good little drop shot bait that we have been using since this came out earlier this year. And that is going to be the OSP Itamaki Shad. Now, this is gonna look a little weird to you, but this has turned into one of my confidence baits when I'm drop shotting. Looking at this bait, you're gonna notice that it has realistic eyes, which if you guys have watched any videos where I'm talking about minnow style baits, having realistic eyes is a huge key for me. I think it's something for the fish just to key in on, especially in clear water. It's also gonna have this sort of crinkled scarf on the middle of the body. This is going to help it stay in place a little bit better. And that's something that I've noticed with this. A lot of people in general overwork their bait and kind of pull it off of those key areas. With this guy, that skirt, or scarf, whatever you want to call it, sort of keeps the bait in the area a little bit better if you start getting a little bit jittery with your rod. I know it's worked. I've, you can see it on live scope or if you're in shallower water, uh, you can see this thing. Even as you pulse the rod, it just kind of goes forward and back, forward and back. So that scarf, I keep wanting to say skirt and scarf at the same time. That little skirt area there is just an awesome feature. Uh, this is also can be fished as a little top water with a nose hook. Uh, guys will just kind of chug it along. This thing will pop water. It's it's pretty cool to see. It's gonna have a air bubble in the middle of it, so it's gonna help it sit pretty buoyant. And then at the back end here, this tinsel does some wonderful stuff in the water that drive fish absolutely wild. Uh, it's gonna have some little segments down there, which is gonna give the tail a little bit of additional action. It's just an overall killer, 2.3 inches long, perfect bite size, little middle profile for them. They come in phenomenal colors. It's one of my favorite baits that OSP has come out with in a long, long time, the Iramaki Shad. Definitely give this one a try. A lot of guys aren't throwing this type of bait, uh, so something that the fish wouldn't have seen a lot in your area. All right, and last but not least, something else new. So a lot of these baits are new, and I think that's something that you can kind of hang your hat on that a lot of guys are not gonna be throwing. It generally takes a little bit of time for guys to acclimate to new baits, fish to get conditioned to it, and it to be sort of a staple on your water. That's why a lot of these I've keyed in on uh, as you know, little, little under the radar bait. So uh, the last one here is going to be the Dual Realis Heartbeat. I want to assume stands for heartbeat, it's gonna have this little prop on the bottom that as you are, you know, retrieving this along, this is more of an eye motion bait. So doesn't do a whole lot. There's no big body wobbles or tail kicks or anything like that. Essentially, the water is gonna go through the mouth here. You can see that is a hollowed out mouth. It's going to come down on this blade and it's gonna allow the bait to spin, which is supposed to mimic a heartbeat in a fish. This is an incredibly effective spy bait alternative in my opinion. They're gonna come with these little tails. Uh, you just kind of break that apart and it will be a longer tail. It's elastomer. You're also gonna get another one of these tails in the package. So if it tears or pulls off, which it's very hard to do with this elastomer type material, like it's very, very durable. This is just another one that they haven't seen. Now, 
for me with the Heart B, I am throwing this in shallower water. This is gonna be, I'll give you the sizing here. This is gonna be six grams. So it's a fairly light bait. You're gonna wanna use you know, either BFS gear or spinning on this guy. And it is rated for zero to one feet. So my most effective time throwing this bait has been, you know, around five foot of water, throwing it up on shoals when I'm sitting out off the deeper ledge and kind of bringing it out as I start to get into that deeper water, I've had fish come up and absolutely explode on this thing out of the water. It is an iMotion bait that does what iMotion baits do, has a ton of drawing power with not a lot of action. So it's very natural coming through the water. Uh, and it's just an overall really, really cool bait. If you guys fish a lot of shoals or you're a shallow water fisherman, maybe you're coming over the tops of some, you know, shallower grass where you have that good foot or two feet before the grass starts to hit the top of the water. Phenomenal option, very slow, slow sink rate. So keep that in mind. You need to work this very slow, which if you're a spy bait fisherman, you'll understand you need to be throwing this and having an extremely slow retrieval for it to be the most effective. You don't wanna be pumping water through this thing. I mean, it's not really gonna make a difference in the action, but just as it was designed to be fish, this is a slow presentation that gets absolute giants. So another great one from Dual Realis, the Heartbeat. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I'm gonna keep doing these every once in a while because I think there's a lot of stuff that gets overlooked in the industry that could change the way fisheries are fished. For instance, this machini blade, the Chippewa DD blade, sorry, has been out for quite a bit of time. And I know up here, it's been a staple on a lot of bodies of water, but maybe some of you guys down in the South haven't seen anything like this. And if you show it to the fish, you could become, you could become the guy on your body of water with these little secret, little uh, small changes. So definitely check this stuff out. I'm gonna keep these coming with new products as they come in and show you guys the maybe a little bit sneakier stuff for your body of water.